U.S. drove coalition warplanes focused on an ISIS-held town in the eastern area of Deir Ezzer on Wednesday utilizing globally restricted white phosphorus weapons. As indicated by Syrian state TV no less than three regular people were slaughtered and five others harmed in an airstrike in the southeastern piece of the town of al Suwar. Nearby sources disclosed to Syria's legitimate news organization Sana that the airborne ambushes additionally severely harmed private structures in the range. The American drove coalition who are purportedly doing combating ISIS were found utilizing a similar substance weapons back in June in Syria's eastern Raqqa. Press TV reports. The improvement came just a day after no less than nine regular folks lost their lives in U.S. drove airstrikes against the town of Markata, found about 100 kilometers south of the northeastern city of Haska. Educated sources said two ladies and a six-part Iraqi family, who had evaded battling in the northern Iraqi city of Mosul, were among the casualties of the assaults. The supposed Syrian Observatory for Human Rights gave an account of Saturday that more than 2,800 regular citizens had been killed in U.S. drove airstrikes crosswise over Syria in the course of recent years. The Britain-based checking bunch revealed that 427 individuals, including 137 minors and 113 ladies, were executed in the aeronautical assaults between May 23 and June 23 this year. The U.S. drove air assaults additionally brought about the damage of many regular people, some of whom endured changeless incapacities and needed to have their appendages excised. The elevated attacks caused enormous decimation of private structures and non-military personnel foundation also. The U.S. drove coalition has been directing airstrikes against what are said to be Daesh focuses inside Syria since September 2014 with no approval from the Damascus government or an UN order. The military organization together has over and again been blamed for focusing on and slaughtering regular folks. It has likewise been to a great extent unequipped for accomplishing its announced objective of annihilating Daesh. The Syrian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and expatriates, in two separate letters sent to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and turning President of the UN Security Council Omar Abdel Adifoblita on August 24, expressed that the US drove coalition was executing atrocities and violations against mankind through elevated barrage of private neighborhoods. The Syrian Foreign Ministry additionally focused on that the military organization together was utilizing globally restricted white phosphorus weapons in outrageous infringement of universal law and the Charter of the United Nations.